Congratulations on your purchase of the Institute 09 EX model. This instructional video will help familiarize you with the form and function of your brand new Institute and help you get the most coolness and comfort. When you open the box, you will find a plastic bag containing the user manual and the remote. Your Institute 09 EX comes completely assembled. The unit will be covered in a protective plastic sleeve and has four pieces of tape securing the panels. These are only to protect the Instachill during transport and can be safely disposed of. Bring your Instachill to your desired location. Be sure to do this before you fill it up as the unit will become heavier and harder to move when full. Turn the Instachill so the front faces you. About two thirds down the front of the unit, you will see a drawer. Pull it out and you can pour cold water in here to fill the reservoir. This model will take 10 liters of water. Use the sight glass below the drawer to ensure you don't overfill the reservoir. Any overfilling may cause spillage. Once filled to the desired level, close the drawer. Also note that the colder the water you use, the more effective the cooling from the Instachill. To keep the water colder for longer, you can either frequently top it up with cold water or even put ice cubes or a frozen bottle of water directly into your reservoir. To do this, open the rear panel, place it in the reservoir, and close the rear panel. You can now push the power button. The panel should light up and the fan will start on low level. Now you will want to make sure the cool function is active. If not, push this button now. This will activate the water pump to circulate the cool water from the base reservoir and through the sponges. Now set the desired speed on the fan. Low, medium, or high. The higher you set the fan, the greater the volume of cool air that will be produced. If you do not feel the coolness immediately, just wait one or two minutes for the sponges to soak properly. The next button on this panel is the swing function. Pressing this will oscillate the airflow side to side. On the side of the air outlet grill are two levers that control the vertical airflow. Each lever allows you to individually control one half of the cool air. The next function is the timer. Use this by pressing the timer button. Each press of the button will scroll through the options from one to seven hours. And finally, there's the anion air cleaner. Use this by pressing the anion button. This generates negative ion charged molecules in the water which attach to dust and allergens and make them settle out of the air as it passes through the sponge. Of course, all of these functions can be accessed through the remote. To activate the remote, take it out of the plastic sleeve and pull out the protruding plastic tap. Keep in mind that the Instachill emits water into the air, so for the best results ensure you leave a door or window open to keep the humidity in the room low and get the most cooling power. Do not worry about the cost of losing your cool air to the outside, this is why we made the Instachill so affordable to run. So get the most out of your Instachill 09 EX by bringing it with you, indoors or outdoors. Now to look at cleaning and maintenance for your Instachill 09 EX. To minimize the cleaning required, you should drain the reservoir after you're done using your Instachill. This will help prevent algae forming in your reservoir. Also, it means you will not mix your cold fresh water with the warm stale water from previous use. To drain the reservoir, remove the plug at the bottom of the back of the unit. To prevent a spill, we recommend you take the Instachill outside or into your bathtub or shower before removing the plug. Should you ever need to clean your reservoir, it can be accessed by removing the rear panel and reaching into the unit. The inside can be cleaned with a sponge or a cloth, but do not use soap as it will damage your sponges. If you are going away for a longer period of time or storing your Instachill over winter, make sure your sponges are dry. If they are not, you can run the unit without the cool feature active to dry them out. The cleaning schedule you implement for your Instachill will depend on your usage. If you use it a lot in dusty areas or outdoors, the air filters and sponges are likely to require more frequent cleaning. The best way to tell if your Instachill requires cleaning is to visually inspect them once a month. To open the unit, pull at the recess at the top of the rear panel. This is a friction fit panel and with a slight pull will come loose. You can now slide the left and right sponges out towards you. The rear sponge is attached to the rear panel. Slightly flex the panel to release the sponge from the retaining tabs. 
Take the plastic holder off the bottom of the sponge and put to the side. Now remove the side panels. These are also friction fit and will come off with light force. Gently remove the air filter mesh from both side panels and the rear panel. You can now brush or vacuum any dust off the air filters if required. When you are done, reinsert the air filters into the panels. You can now refit the side panels by slotting the bottom into the lip and pushing the top into place. The sponges can be cleaned in running water with a soft brush. Now that the sponges are clean, take one sponge and arrange it so the banded side is up. Lightly push the sponge into the holder on the right side of the unit. Do the same with the second sponge on the left side. Take the plastic cover of the rear sponge and put it on the bottom. Using light pressure, fit the sponge into the rear panel. The plastic cover needs to go on with the wedge side facing the door, otherwise the sponge won't fit in the holder. Once the sponge is in place, you can fit the rear panel by inserting the bottom and then with light force, push the top into place. This is all of the cleaning and maintenance required for the Instachill 09EX. Thank you for watching and enjoy the cooling power of your Instachill.